Well, it's our intent to that through this video, parents will be able to uh, greater help their children to become successful in the classroom, that they will be able to uh, partner with the schools in a, a more meaningful way through the parent compact and the policies that the board has created. It's really an effort to just partner with the parents and make them feel welcome, to express to them from the uh, administrative and board's perspective the importance of their role in helping us to help them educate their children and to uh, make Proviso the best district that it can be. Uh, we realize that the parent compact and sometimes things can be a little bit challenging and not even easily to understand. With this video, hopefully the outcome will be that parents will be fully equipped and fully aware of what their expectations are from the administration and the board and from their students. Yeah, Michelle and I know that our first job, our first responsibility is instilling a sense of learning, a, 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 a sense of a love of learning in our kids. And, and so there are no shortcuts there. We have to do that job and we can't just blame teachers and schools if we're not instilling that commitment, that dedication to learning in our kids. Teachers want to know what's best for students from a parent's perspective. So it's important that parents communicate with teachers, teachers communicate with parents, so that we know what to do working together in the best interest of the student. When you're working with your child about setting goals and expectations, it's really important that you have in mind this concept that's called growth mindset. And what growth mindset says is that a person who perseveres and keeps trying and learns from their mistakes is going to increase their, their intellectual capability, their intelligence levels, and this has been documented in research. And uh, So it's important that as parents we're aware of that and that we convey that information to our, our children so that they know that the hard work that you're asking them to do and the school is asking them to do will pay off in the long run and not to be upset by any failures or difficulty that they face, but to see it as a path to growth. As one of the first people that you would come in contact to in one of our schools, the parent coordinators are there to help welcome you to the building, help you navigate some of the offices and areas of the school that you might need to make contact with. We are definitely there to help you make a connection with a teacher or with a counselor if you need to discuss your student's progress. We're also there to be an advocate for our parents. You know, when you need somebody to speak on your behalf, to help you understand what's going on in our schools and how we can help work together for better student achievement, that's what the parent coordinator is there to do. Another great resource coming out of the Parent Center is a series of parent workshops that we offer throughout the year. Um, this is a great resource for parents where they come to the school here in the parent centers and they get information on whatever they need as far as helping them support their child. For instance, uh, stress management, which is my all-time favorite one, uh, but also understanding social media or supporting learning at home. These are great, great workshops parents can come to and get this information and also network with other parents and get ideas from other parents. In District 89 we use PowerSchool and I know that District 209 uses PowerSchool as well. It is a great tool for monitoring your students' grades, attendance, um, tardies, parents, whatever you do. Sign up for PowerSchool. It is one of the most important aspects of the communication. And you're able to check your child's things on a daily basis. Most importantly, you should check it at least on a weekly basis. It will make a world of difference. PowerSchool can help parents help their kids by looking at attendance, monitoring their child's progress in the class, whether assignments are complete, incomplete, late, on time, comments, explanations, descriptions of assignments, due dates. PowerSchool is a very useful tool in determining those type of things. Now at the same time that we're asking our kids to have a growth mindset and that we're trying to have a growth mindset, it's not enough just to say hang in there. There are going to be times when, when a student really is struggling. 
and that's where going to be, it's going to be important that you as parents know what the resources are that are available. We offer tutoring uh, during the lunch periods at the school. We offer tutoring after school. We have a Saturday school program where students can go there for tutoring and support. And this year we're starting up our extended learning opportunities for students where on Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays the students can go to the school and receive additional support and help in those areas where they're struggling. So we want to hold our, our, our children in a place where they're struggling and they're trying and they're facing the difficulties of learning, but at the same time support them so that they know that they'll be able to get there with that support. Parents, you have to encourage your child to join in activities such as clubs, sports, and volunteering because it's also good for them to boost their confidence, show them what teamwork, teach them about discipline, and teach them about work ethic so they can be very successful in the near future. I wouldn't be who I am if I didn't have activities, joining sports, or really just getting involved in really building bridges with other communities and not walls, and also building a relationship. That's the only way that you can get your name out and also to be more proactive in your community. That's the most important thing. It definitely eases the heart and eases the soul. Another aspect um, is, in, is joining clubs, being part of activities, volunteering, really giving back, and really feeling a part of something like a family, um, growing, growing mentally and just emotionally being part of something uh, back in school. So myself, I'm part of student council. Uh, we give back into the community, we really help out. Um, as far as being an RTC, we do a lot of community service, really helping out what you need actually to graduate, which is so important. Um, so all those extra things are very good in key aspects. It is so important for parents to be involved on um, committees, community committees, uh, school committees, um, to support their students' learning. Um, administrations work um, to put together things like curriculums and all sorts of other activities for students, but the parent voice is so important. And so them being involved in that gives even greater insight um, to institutions as well as creating an environment where children feel supported. Something about a parent uh, committee uh, filled with, uh, uh, committees just filled with parents, um, it says something um, about that community. Children work together when they see their parents working together. Remember, stay involved. Your voices need to be heard. Just as in elementary school, you were involved in PTA, PTO, PTAP, BPAC, and other committees. In high school, your involvement is needed as well. Proviso East offers the ATP Action Team for Partnership. Proviso West offers the Parent Action Committee. And Proviso Math and Science Academy has a PTO. Stay involved. We must show support of our youth and their education, making sure that um, they have a good place at home to study. We must make sure their homework is done. We must guide them and check their homework. I know once they get in high school, we stop doing that and um, we stop communicating with their teachers and going to their um, parent-teachers conference because we think that they know. But some of our kids need their guidance and that support. Parental engagement in our students' lives supports best practices and outcomes for students. When kids know that we're on the same page, then they are accountable. Research shows that the best way for us to support educational outcomes is to let the kids know that we care. And we want the best for them. And that way, they develop their potential and they blossom. If they fail, we need to let them know that they're not their mistakes. There's a whole team behind them, and that team consists of home and teachers supporting their success. My encouragement is to get involved and there's help. Uh, we understand that everyone doesn't have the same uh, resources and things like that. What your school board has done and what your uh, administration has done at District 209 is to provide those resources and to provide those things and to be conscious of those real obstacles and barriers and not to uh, make excuses or point fingers but to partner with you in helping those children, our students, become successful. We need you. 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 Te necesitamos. We need you. We need you. We need you.